60 miles an hour. I mean, I don't really think it's that extreme of a speed. You've probably gone that fast without even noticing it while driving to work. But on an electric unicycle, now it's a whole different thing. Not only is it our next aspirational grand challenge speed-wise, it also has been a huge point of contention between those who are thrilled by the prospect of getting a wheel that fast and those who think that it's speed that fast that we eventually have our beloved electric unicycle banned from all public roads. But beyond mere opinions, there's also physical and technological challenges towards building a wheel that goes that fast. Are you ready for a chat about our next performance frontier, our impossible race to the 60 miles per hour electric unicycle? Road intro. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified of new episodes. For those who are new, this is an electric unicycle. It is a self-balanced personal electric transport. You control it simply by leaning forward to go back to brake. But the EUC is as simple as you can get when it comes to a motorized mode of personal transport. And it is because of that simple form factor that manufacturer is able to fitting much larger tire as well as battery packs relative to the size of the wheels themselves. And as a result, people are sometimes surprised by exactly how fast you can actually go with one of these wheels. The Monster Pro, which is currently the fastest electric unicycle available, have a top speed of about 52 to 54 miles per hour. And the reason why that is such a fuzzy number is that the way Gotway, the company that built the Monster Pro, set it up so that you receive an audio warning beat when you approach the maximum capacity of the motor and if you choose to ignore said warning and continue to push the wheel faster you can until you exceed the motor ability to maintain self-balance and the wheel cut out as in shutdown in another word, the only way to test the top speed of an electric unicycle from either Veteran or Gotway, the two electric unicycle companies that make the fastest wheels, is to crash. And as crazy as it sounds, people continue to push for the speed envelope despite the risk in order to claim that sweet, sweet distinction of being the fastest men or women on an electric unicycle. But this is relatively new for an electric unicycle. Not long ago, and by that I mean as recently as 2018 when I first got into EUCs, wheels capable of even braking 40 miles per hour was almost unheard of and for the most part riders were happy to just be able to sustain a bicycle like speed of 20 to 25 miles per hour up and down steep grade as Marty with his infamous overheat hill test demonstrated. But 2018 was also the year when the Godway MSX 100 volt was first introduced. An electric unicycle with the unprecedented top speed of 47 miles per hour so fast as a matter of fact that none even recognized the insane potential that this wheel had for speed when it was first released but with its introduction it also began to attract a very different group of rider who have very different ideas of what constitutes a good time on their wheels. I still remember finding Tushan Fahey's channel and thinking that it was like no other electric unicycle videos I have ever seen at the time. Instead of staying politely to the side of the road and in bike lanes, the group riding Tushan's video mixed right in with auto traffic. And if there is one constant thing, it was speed and the one video that made the biggest impression with me was his review of the 100 volt monster where he talked about its maximum speed with an all almost akin to that of a religion as of right now the gotway monster v100 is the fastest electric unicycle out right now and i mean the fastest 
But there are also inherent performance limitation to the electric unicycle platform since after all it is a unicycle and lack the mechanical stability that multi-wheel platform like a two-wheel bicycle would enjoy. A portion of the motor's power output was also needed to maintain self-balancing and so a larger capacity motor is usually required to achieve the same speed as compared to let's say a electric scooter. Then there was the sticky problem of safety. Tilting the pedal back to resist further forward acceleration input from the rider, what we call a tilt back, was a common mechanism utilized by UC designer to enforce maximum speed cap. But the additional motor are required in order to push the pedal back also means that it is not a mechanism that could be utilized if you want to maximize the top speed of your electric unicycle. And that is why we end up with the warning beeps and the phenomena of EUC riders risking it all by pushing against that beep warning in order to achieve the fastest top speed possible. And that leads to the question, why? Why the obsession with top speed on a platform where the penalty for failure, i.e. high speed cutout, is so very high? Not to mention, as many would like to remind you, of the potential risk to other who share the same streets. At 50 miles per hour, a 70 pound electric unicycle can do a whole lot of damage. And some have even suggested adding a leash tethering the wheel to the rider to prevent that possibility. To that suggestion, I say that linking two cannonballs together with the length of a chain was a strategy utilized during medieval time to maximize the damaging potential of that combo, not to make it safer. Also, at that kind of speed, you're likely in the middle of the road and mixing with car traffic, and if a pedestrian is standing in the middle of the street facing incoming traffic, an out of control control EUC is really the least of their worries. But why? Well, it's actually quite simple if you ask me. Desire to go fast is as rooted in the human psyche, I would say, as, I don't know, air and water. I mean, there is a reason why we have a Guinness top speed world record for just about every single mode of transport we ever have from flying to, well, running. I mean, if there is a means of getting around, there's probably also an associated cutthroat competition to see who can do it the fastest. And it goes beyond that simple fascination for the extreme. I think it has become ingrained in our mind as a measure of capabilities. A 2020 Hunter Civic has a top speed of 130 miles per hour. Will anyone driving a four-door family sedan ever reach that kind of speed? Probably not, but that number is as much of a metric of quality as horsepower. It is for the same reason that the maximum speed for electric unicycle has been steadily increasing over the past few years. That is until we got to the before mentioned MSX 100 volt in 2018 and Gotway, the prior herald of speed in the EUC world, have failed to produce faster wheel until very recently. And even then the Monster Pro at 52 miles per hour was only marginally faster. Have we finally reached the limit of what an electric unicycle is capable of? And perhaps that is a good thing since there's some in the EUC community and you will hear from these guys whenever a high speed video is posted to either YouTube or Facebook who are convinced that these ultra fast electric unicycle and the irresponsible behavior that they would no doubt inspire would certainly have us all banned from public road the world over in the very very near future. That had been the source of multiple online flame wars last year. Feelings were hurt accounts were banned but I have noticed that the critics seems to have gotten a bit more quiet over the past few months maybe it was the winter or that the predicted governmental ban never appeared or perhaps I suspect it may be that some of the critics end up buying a faster wheel and grudgingly recognize the benefit of having the option of speed and headroom 
After all, the 50 miles per hour veteran Sherman was the most popular and best selling vehicle last year. But regardless of opinion, the technical challenges remain. Power demand increased exponentially with speed, and a man or woman standing on an electric unicycle facing to the wind is about as on aerodynamic as you can possibly get. The Monster Pro require a 3500 watt motor coupled with 3600 watt hour worth of battery packs, twice that of the MSX, to eke out just 5 miles per hour more top speed. By that same calculation, to bridge the remaining 7 miles per hour to reach 60, we'll need at least twice if not more power and battery capacity. With larger motor and bigger battery pack, inevitably comes greater weight and much larger size. The 52 miles per hour capable Monster Pro weighed in at 90 pounds and I have no doubt that a 60 miles per hour capable electric unicycle would be much, much heavier than even that. Is it even feasible to create a self-balancing vehicle that weighed more than the rider? I have no ideas, but in some way, that is why the EUC niche is so very exciting to me. Electric unicycle is still young and going through rapid iterations. A four-year-old wheel is obsolete at this point where in my four-year-old Samsung Note 8 works just fine. There are really no telling where we will end up, especially with the explosive growth of interest in our niche. For good reason, since by God can you think of a cooler or more futuristic mode of transportation than an EUC. This is what you should see in science fiction film, and we're writing it right now. And if a more robust, larger and heavier self-balancing single wheel motorcycle is the next stage of evolution for EUCs in order for us to reach speed of 60 miles per hour or even beyond, I am all for trying it. Whomever is up for building it next. Finally, here's the question. Do we really need an electric unicycle that does 60 miles an hour? And my answer is hell yeah! Are you kidding me? Why would you not want to have the opportunity to ride a faster wheel if you have the options to? I have found that as I gain more ride experiences on my Gotway Monster V3, my average speed has been steadily <laughs> increasing to the point where I am just constantly hitting the beep which again starts at 38 miles per hour on that wheel. Once you figure out how to officially torque a wheel, it is just, you can't help yourself but to do it every single chance you got. When the roads open up, even considering the cramped quarters we have here in the traffic prone streets of New York City, there's still a lot of instances where I have no doubt that I can push a wheel to 60 miles per hour just for the thrill of getting that bleep of speed. That is, if I have the acceleration and braking to support it. And I have no doubt that we will eventually get there. And when we do, it is going to be freaking awesome! Will you be cashing hands screaming for that 60 miles per hour electric unicycle? Or do you think dying out of my mind and ruining your favorite hobby with my speed obsession? Well, that is what the comment section below are for and you know what? With all my crazy speculation or whatnot, I have once again managed to trick you into wasting another 15 minutes of your life but I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my supporter on Patreon. Please check out the link in the video description if you enjoy and like to support my work. And as always, as much as we all love electric unicycle, the only way for us to get better wheels is to grow as a community. So tell your friends, teach them how to ride and get them hooked. Until the next video, thank you.